Investing in property, the top five growth drivers for choosing a suburb. Not all suburbs are investable suburbs. There are many critical elements to identifying a high performance investable suburb. The first critical element is government spending. What money is the government injecting into the local area from a federal, state and local level? Are highways being upgraded, rail lines being extended or potentially hospital facilities being improved? The injection of money into a local region from the government indicates they are expecting pressure on the area in terms of population increases, use of roads and local facilities, and the need for services and amenities to service the local community. Which brings me to population growth. Did you know that in the coming years, Brisbane City is expected to essentially swallow up the Ipswich region and call it its own? What this means is that Brisbane and Ipswich's population growth is expected to be so significant that the two will become one, pushing Brisbane's population out to 3 million people. It is projections of this nature that get governments talking about what upgrades and amenities need to be implemented in these high growth areas to cope with the increased population. There are many reasons people will migrate to certain regions and employment is a major factor. You must look at the local economy and employment sectors to understand why a population is choosing to live in this investable suburb. We want to see more than just one employment sector, such as mining. The region should ideally have multiple employment nodes, such as medical, education, construction, tourism, mining, agriculture or business. The more demand there is in the region for people to live there for accessibility to work, the greater demand on the property market from both a sales and rental perspective. And with this pressure comes low vacancy rates. When the demand in a local area outweighs the supply, vacancy rates drop. For confidence and security in your investment, I suggest targeting vacancy rates under 3%. The lower the rate, the better, because it reduces the likelihood of your property being vacant between tenancies for extended periods, which impacts your net cash flow position. And speaking of cash flow, the higher the rental yields, the greater your net cash flow position. Strong yields can be achieved by purchasing in areas that are affordable, but in high demand from a rental perspective. This shows that tenants are prepared to pay a premium to live in this suburb. But be sure to stay within the middle of the bell curve. What I mean by that is that it's important to appeal to the masses. Affordability is one of the most important components here as it minimises your risk profile through heightened rental demand, lower vacancy rates and reduced days on market in the event you ever needed to or wanted to sell. By combining these six fundamental factors, you'll position yourself amongst the top 2% of investors who invest backed by data and statistics rather than emotion. For more information, reach out to us at overandabove.com.au.